Your Majesty, I finished a dissertation on 57 warlock spells, feats, and invocations which have become available to this nation's warlocks. In it, you will find details regarding new and exceptional spells which your adventuring subjects might have access to. This crystal ball includes a sampling of its contents. Please refer to the full dissertation for additional details as this crystal ball will not exhaustively describe each spell, feat, or invocation in great detail. First we have the Blade of Force Cantrip which charges a caster's weapon with force energy that lasts until the start of their next turn. Next, we have the Div Interference Cantrip which grants the caster the possibility of influencing, for better or worse, the target's chance of success on an ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Next up is the powerful 9th level spell known as Force Crush, a spell which was adapted from Tensor's floating disc, and brings into being, 30 force plates for up to an hour, each of which can target and crush a creature of a size equal to huge or smaller each round. Then there's Mystic Seder, an 8th level divination spell which grants the caster the ability to impose a natural 20, a natural 1, and 3 predetermined d20 rolls upon a creature at any distance. Next, we have Fate's Reprisal, a 7th level divination spell which weaves force and psychic damage around an enemy who must make a charisma saving throw to attempt to take half damage and not be subject to making their ability checks, attack rolls, or saving throws at disadvantage for the next minute. Next, we have a 6th level spell called, Radiant Blast. Radiant Blast causes an ectoplasmic radiant energy to erupt in a 40-foot cube damaging those in said area and leaving them covered in a highlighting, luminescent goo which grants their enemies advantage on attack rolls and prevents them from hiding or becoming invisible for one minute. Then there's Wave of Lethargy, a 5th level spell which slows the affected creatures in a 60-foot cone until the end of their next turn if they fail their saving throw. Additionally, Warlocks who cast this spell benefit from immediately gaining an additional action if at least one creature fails. Your Majesty will also likely find the 4th level spell, Magic Mirror, to be of interest as it can trap a creature in a mirror for up to 10 minutes. Your Majesty should also be made aware of the 3rd level, Telepathic Strike spell, which enchants a miniature crystal weapon which the user can then expend using their thought alone to cause psychic damage to a creature without being noticed. Next, I feel it my obligation to inform your majesty not to go petting or feeding strange cats, no matter their cuteness. This is necessary due to the second level swarm of cat spell, which, as you might guess, summons a swarm of cute and cuddly fur friends which can attack according to the caster's will. Lastly, it is important that your majesty be wary of any ceramic vessels which you are unfamiliar with, or which have been left unattended and accessible to your majesty's enemies, as they can now be imbued with various damage types and used as mines. As we conclude this discussion of going concerns, I'd like to remind your majesty that your loyal subject by the name of Animancy Press most humbly requests that you like, share, and comment on this video as well as subscribe to this channel. Further, your financial support through Patreon, Coffee, or PayPal using the top pinned comment in the comment section, or purchasing this, or another title on DM's Guild would be greatly appreciated.